The administration is sticking to its hard line, making this very political, blaming the Democrats. Yeah, Mr. President, do you agree with uh, children being taken away from No, I hate it. Border? I hate Mr. the President, children being taken away. Me. The Democrats have to change their law. That's their sure, law. That's you your change your policy. Policy. Quiet. 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 That's the Democrats' law. But that's not really true because Trump could change the law. He could stop this anytime he wants. This recent tweet from him suggests he might be using the kids as leverage to get the Democrats to agree to more funding for his border wall. All of this has become so controversial that some evangelical leaders who have supported Trump, like Franklin Graham, yep, Billy Graham's son, are denouncing the policy. I think it's uh, disgraceful, it's terrible to see families ripped apart, and I don't uh, support that uh, one bit. The evangelical community is full of Latinos and other immigrants, and now their church leaders are speaking out. Several sent Trump this letter asking him to reverse his policy, policy and protect the unity of families. Joining me is one of the authors of that letter, Joanne Lyon, with the Wesleyan Church. She is in Indianapolis. So uh, I've read that letter. You call this policy horrible. You're so concerned you sent this letter. What's so horrible? What's your concern? So this is not anything new for evangelicals to be speaking about. Many of our churches are filled with undocumented people and uh, also uh, issues of uh, refugees and welcoming the stranger. So this, this piece of, of what was happening at the border and families being ripped apart added only one more thing to what we were, we have been speaking about for a long time. Uh, and the whole issue of of um, babies being taken from their mothers and, and nothing uh, said, just simply uh, the atrocious behavior. And we believe that this is not how Jesus treats people. Uh, this is not what Jesus has called us to do. Uh, and so we have, this, this is a letter that has now had well over 6,000 signatures. But I want you to know that there are many people speaking up, out about this today. The Attorney General though, Jeff Sessions, he's quoting the Bible to defend this policy. Uh, yes, and he misquoted the Bible. We can all find verses out of the Bible. We can lift a verse out and, and do something that we want with that. But the, you have to look at the entire scripture. You have to look at all that, that uh, and what Jesus said, how he taught us, and even the verse that he used, you just need to read down a few more lines and it explains what was meant by that. The government is saying it has to do this because it needs a deterrent and that perhaps taking kids away from their parents will do the trick. What do you think about that? This is a very immoral deterrent. There are other ways in which to work with this and not in this way, not punishing innocent children by any means. Uh, it, is, it is not a deterrent. How far will you go? You've sent this letter. You've been fighting this for, for a while. Do you, do you think, I mean, the evangelicals are a big part of Donald Trump's base. Do you think people will actually vote against him? I'm not sure how people will vote, but I do know that right now people are, are concerned and are speaking out uh, in various, in places I never thought they would speak out uh, in, on this issue. Do you see this as a big turning point then? I'm not sure. Uh, you know, things change very quickly. At this moment, as I'm listening today and, as, and what I've listened to and articles that I've seen and, and uh, op-eds and so forth from all varieties of, particularly in the evangelical community, it uh, looks as if there's, this is a major piece, but things move quickly. Uh, and I would hope, though, we don't stop. This, we, we in the United States, you, you in Canada, you, you continue to change your immigration policies. We haven't changed ours for 30 years. And it's time that those immigration policies change. The Trump administration has said it's doing this because it needs a deterrent, it needs to stop illegal immigration. Who do you think he's appealing to? Like, is this a, is this a smart political calculation for him? I, I can't speak for what his calculations are at all. But I think he's made it very simple. Immigration is a very complicated issue. Um, and uh, is complex on our laws and our laws that need to be changed. It's complex all the way around. Uh, but the way he's promoted this to his base is that we just build a wall, keep people out, and that's it. Well, that isn't it. And so I think he appeals to his base that's made it very simple. 
uh, and he keeps going back to that for the simplicity of it, instead of really trying to understand what is the what what are the moral obligations, what are the legal obligations, what are the complexities of this, and and how do we respond to humans? After all, we don't treat human beings this way, uh, and and as we in the evangelical world and the biblical world and all of us as, as followers of Christ, the Christian world, we all believe every single person is made in the image of God, and so. No one should be treated in this manner. Joanne Lyon, thank you so much for talking to us this morning. Thank you very much. Thank you for inviting me, Wendy, and great to be with you.